Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today for another video. So, as somebody who's interested in both aviation and radio communications, I actually very rarely monitor Manchester's air traffic control on a radio scanner, but I sometimes like to look at apps such as Flight Radar 24 or Plane Finder. And in recent months, I've noticed markers on both of these apps which show as active 24-7. And up until recently, these markers were displaying an aircraft logo, leading to people on message boards and Facebook groups to think that they were actually glitches in the system. Now, these markers now show as small triangles on the map, so they're not confused with aircraft. And what they actually are are ground-based ADSB transponders, which are located around the airport. So, ADSB stands for Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast which is a surveillance technology in which an aircraft determines its position via satellite navigation and periodically broadcasts it, enabling it to be tracked. The information can be received by air traffic control ground stations as a replacement for secondary radar. ADSB is automatic in that it requires no pilot or external input. It is actually dependent in that it depends on data from the aircraft's navigation system. And it comprises of two services, one which is ADSB out and the other which is ADSB in. So using ADSB out, each aircraft periodically broadcasts information about itself, such as its identification, its current position, its altitude, and both air and ground speed through an onboard transmitter unit. So ADSB out provides air traffic controllers with real-time position information that is, in most cases, more accurate than the information available with current radar-based systems. So the system relies on two avionics components on board each aircraft. First one being a high integrity satellite navigation source such as GPS or another certified GNSS receiver. GNSS stands for Global Navigation Satellite System. And secondly, a data link which is the ADSB unit. And there's several types of ADSB data links, but the most common ones operate on 1090 MHz. At radar boxes such as Air Nav Radar Box and SDR dongles can receive and decode ADSB signals with an appropriate antenna and they then plot the aircraft's position on a map. And this is exactly what Flight Radar 24 does. So the ADSB systems around Manchester Airport plot aircraft positions on a map which the air traffic controller is monitoring in the tower. They receive the ADSB data from the aircraft transmitters and send it to the tower. This enables the controller to see more accurate information and detail about ground-based and airborne aircraft within the vicinity. And this complements the current radar system and helps improve safety, timing, separation and awareness. So Manchester has numerous radar systems, including a relatively new radar on the southern side of the airfield, um, but the old radar tower, which has been decommissioned on the northern perimeter, is still used to house various antennas, including an ADS-B transponder. There are numerous antennas dotted around the airfield and some are viewable from public areas and others are only visible from restricted areas and from airside. And a long-term plan for the ADSB system, not just at Manchester but around the world, is to replace conventional radar as a safer, more efficient system and to allow pilots and air traffic controllers to react more quickly. So I hope this short video answers the question that I've seen on many videos many uh, Manchester Airport and other airport message boards and forums, uh, including Facebook groups, uh, people wondering what these little markers are and thinking that they're aircraft parked in unusual places and glitches within the system. They're actually just ADSB transmitters which are receiving data from aircraft and sending that information straight to the tower. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, suggestions or questions, then please drop them in the box below. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And all that's left to say is 7-3. Cheers for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.